Hey there, it's Marvin again from Reamaze. Today, I want to show you guys how to set up response templates. Some of you call them macros, uh, but they're the same thing. They're just templates that you use to respond to customers if things get a little bit more repetitive. And we'll also kind of go over how to insert response templates into your replies. So to start off, uh, let's go ahead and create some response templates first. So we want to go start off with settings and we'll go to response templates under account settings. Okay, so we have a bunch of test ones here we can just ignore. Um, let's create a new response template. So response templates can be categorized by brand. So if you have multi-brand uh, enabled, you'll want to make sure certain response templates only belong to certain brands. So if you sell a clothing store and you have another app, you want to make sure those response templates only appear for the specific brands. So for this, uh, for this demo, we'll leave it as all brands because we want all brands to be able to use the same response template. So we'll call this a, uh, let's say, question about shipping, okay? And the response, let's take, um, here's an article about shipping policies. All right. Response templates also actually support name variables now. So you can do hi, we'll do bracket bracket and customer dot name. Okay, so now this will pull the the customer's full name. Um, the reason we don't do first name or last name is because sometimes it's really hard to determine which one is first name and last name, depending on you know where the customer is and what country they're from. They do things a little bit differently. It's just safer that we pull the f the full name instead of just the first name and last name. You can always edit it after you insert the response template into your reply. So let's do thanks. Okay, let's create. Oops, let's create this template here click create. Okay, now let's go back to the inbox. And we're going to want to test this. So Abigail here has written in. So she wants to know about the latest download files. Since this is a demo, we'll just pretend that this conversation is about shipping. So in your conversation reply, look to the right hand side, and there's an insert response template option, click on that. And you'll want to select the one that we just created, which is question about shipping. So we're going to click insert. And now it's going to give us Abigail's full name. If you want to, you know, if you know Abigail pretty well, you can delete her last name. We'll just do hi, Abigail. Here's an article about shipping policies. Now, during the article creation process or the template re creation process, if you embedded a HTML link of some sort, this will also appear here correctly. So there's no worry about that. Um, so as soon as you're done, you can click respond and that will get fired off to Abigail. This will save your team a lot of time if you're responding to the same things over and over again. Highly recommend it that you set up some response templates before you uh, start re replying to customers and getting back to them. Especially with the holiday season coming up, we think this will be very, very helpful. Okay. So if you have any further questions or need further guidance, let us know at support at reamaze.com. Thanks.